Hello, everyone. I had a few people recently come to me and ask me about playing videos for students in the class in classroom. They were having some trouble with adding a video to a PowerPoint and then trying to show the student. It just wasn't working. Well, I have two possible options for you to use to play videos in the classroom. So the first option is if the video you have downloaded is an MP4. If you have an MP4 video, you can actually upload that video into the class in drive and then open the video in the classroom. So I'll show you where to do that. Just like if you were adding a PDF or um, a PowerPoint lesson, you would just go to your drive and here you could see any supported file format that you can upload. So you can see for the videos, they have the MP4 and other video file options. So I went ahead and uploaded an MP4 video just of me, something that I created for my students so I could show you how that works. So you can see here I have my MP4 video loaded into my drive. So now when I go into my classroom and I have a classroom set up with my fake students so I could show you on the student side what that will look like as well. So I'm going to enter this classroom and my student is already in here. So now I'm gonna to go to my drive. I can find my video that I've already uploaded. There's my classroom tool video. And then here is the video. So when I play this video on my side, my student will be able to see it as well. So let me go ahead and move this over here and I'll move myself over here. So here is my video. There's the video on the student screen and then I'm going to hit play. Hello my friends. I am going to show you some of the tools that you can use. In so my student is able to watch and listen to the video at the same time that I am able to watch and listen to the video. So that is the one option if you are using an MP4 downloaded video. So if you are wanting to use a YouTube video, a lot of children's YouTube videos I found out you are actually not able to download these videos. There's just not an option to do that. So I first tried embedding the YouTube video into a PowerPoint. I was able to see it, the student was able to see it, but when I played the video, it did not play on the student's end. The student would have to play the video themselves. And that's just not very convenient for especially the young children, young students that we're teaching. So this is the solution that I have found for playing YouTube videos, children's songs, which I like to use to um, supplement some of my lessons is to actually bring the YouTube video in the browser. So if I was to go to YouTube, so I'll show you my other screen, and I found a video that I wanted to show my student. So I'm gonna find, let's just do the wheels on the bus. So here's the video that I want to play for my student. I cannot download the video because it's a children's video. There's no option to download. So what I'm going to do is to copy and paste the URL. So here's my URL at the top. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm gonna go into my classroom. And you can do this in just the test classroom. You don't have to do it while you had the student in there. I'm gonna go into open the browser. And then I'm going to paste the URL right here. And voila, here is my video. So I would do this before I have a class with my student. When you open the URL into the browser in class in, you can click on the star right here at the top. That star is going to save that video. So the next time I go into the browser, with my student, I can get to the lesson or the video easily. And I'll show you that in just one second. So you're gonna notice, obviously with YouTube, there's going to be a ad, an ad that they have to watch first. So what I do is there's two options. Either I just 
keep it the sound off. I don't share the sound until the video actually starts. That way they don't have to listen to the ad. They just have to watch the ad and the ads are usually pretty short. The other option that I found is if you open the video and watch the, the just a couple seconds of the video before class, the next time you open it, the ad won't be there anymore. So you can see here, here's my ad. So now I'm going to close the browser. So the next time I open it, oops, wrong one. I go to my browser. So now you're going to see the video that I saved. So all I have to do is click on wheels on the bus. And when I open this, cross your fingers, it works correctly. The ad won't be there anymore. The video will just start. So let's see what happens. There we go. Here's the video. And then... Cocomelon! Here's the video on the student side. <laughs> so you're going to notice there's actually a slight delay from the video I'm playing and when the student sees it on their side. The sound is fine, it works, it sounds fine, but the video is very choppy, so it's not gonna be a very smooth video for them to watch, but it still works. The student's able to see it at the same time as you, so you don't have to worry about what is the student looking at. They're seeing the same video that you are seeing. So again, two options. Upload it is probably the best option if you have it downloaded as an MP4. If you can't download the video as an MP4, then save it in the browser. All right, hopefully that helps some people out and I will see you next time. Goodbye.